Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And guess what? It's the last episode of Dragon Ball Month, and today we're taking on one of the most requested effects that no other effects show has the sack to take on. I'm talking about the bowl sack. I am of course talking about the Super Saiyan hair, specifically the changing of hair color from dark brown or black to blonde. In fact, as far as I can tell, there isn't a single tutorial anywhere. And you know what? There's actually a good reason for that. It's not that easy to figure out. But today, I'm not only going to show you how to do it, it's going to be easy. Now in order to complete this effect, we need two things. One, a green screen, and two, a blonde wig or someone with blonde hair. Because guess what? It's a hell of a lot easier to change blonde hair to brown or black than the other way around. We'll then combine these two elements, shooting our actor on said green screen, making sure they don't move around too much. So let's get to work. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects. I've also got a blonde wig on in front of a green screen, looking like a member of Bros. If you don't know who that is, Google it and enjoy. With the snap of a funny sound effect, I've keyed my footage. Because if you don't know how to key out a green screen, you'll need to head down to the description and check out our green screen episode. So the trick to getting this effect to work really isn't that hard. Our first step is to change the hair color from blonde to dark brown. So let's duplicate our footage and rename it darker. Next, grab the pen tool and let's draw a nice mask around the hair, paying particular attention to our forehead area. We'll then collapse down the mask menu and hit the stopwatch on mask path. We'll then go frame by frame through our clip, making sure your mask stays in line with your movements. I would actually recommend not moving your head too much to avoid having to adjust your mask, but hey, I did it, so that's why I'm showing you. Once you're done with that, head over to the presets menu and type color. We'll then grab change color and drop it right on that layer. Firstly, grab the eyedropper tool here, and let's grab a color that represents the bulk of our hair color. That's pretty good. From there, we'll change the hue to minus 122, the lightness to minus 31, and the saturation to minus 48. We'll also bump up the matching tolerance to 100%, and the matching softness to around 13%. I will say that for your individual shot, these settings may differ, you know, the color settings. So be sure and have a good play. We'll then hit F and feather out this mask, say 60 pixels. Let's check out a preview. Not bad but a little bit of the original hair is peeking through a little. So how do we solve that? Let's collapse down the mask menu and then we'll expand the mask a little bit, just to negate that a little bit more. Around 20 pixels looks like my number. That's much better now. Now that we've made it dark, let's turn it back to blonde. I mean, Super Saiyan blonde. This part is way easier guys, cause guess what? We've already got the mask, and we've already got the change color already set up. So we'll simply duplicate our darker layer, rename it Saiyan, and then change some settings on our change color effect. Let's change the hue to 35, the lightness to 6, and the saturation to 1. We might turn down the matching softness to 0 too. Nice. Now since our hair's blonde now, we really don't need that mask expansion, so let's collapse down the mask menu, and pull that mask expansion down to 0. That's better. Now, the transition between the two in my example, I merely did a fade, keyframing the opacity of our lighter layer to fade in and have our darker layer fade out, as shown in this example. We all know in the show it's pretty much like a flash of light and it's done, so how you do this one is up to you. I will tackle the full sort of Super Saiyan transformation later on, but I just wanted to focus on the hair effect this week. Now, our last step was simply adding a little glow to the hair once it turns yellow. This is pretty easy to accomplish too. Let's head up, grab a new adjustment layer. Next, grab the pen tool and draw a roughish mask around our hair, giving it a little bit of room to move. We'll then feather it out around 100 pixels or so. We'll then head to effect, generate and grab a CC light burst. Let's then align the center to our forehead area. Change the burst to straight, and then let's scrub to the point where the hair is about to change. We'll hit the stopwatch on ray length, crank it down to zero, we'll then skip forward to when it's just faded in, and then extend the length to 10. 
We'll then head back to that first keyframe, hit T to bring up opacity, hit the stopwatch and bump that thing down to zero. We'll then move forward to roughly the same fade in area as our light burst and then we'll crank it back up to say 65%. Now to make that light burst stand out a little bit more, let's change our transfer mode to add. Now, let's check out a preview. Noise. The only thing left to do now is comp in your background, add a little color correction, and you're done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So that's a down and dirty Saiyan hair effect, guys. I know it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's a pretty easy way of making the transition work. And let's face it, there isn't anything else out there, so it's all we've got. Now guys, if we didn't get to your Dragon Ball request this time, do not fret. I will eventually get to every request on the list. So like George Michael, have a little faith. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. If you're new, jingle that subscribe button as we'll be back next week with an all new effect for your brain to num 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 num. As always, guys, you can follow me on Twitter. Here's the Facebook page. And until we meet again, keep learning.